We have three projects that we are doing here. This is the first in our office and the other one that are going to our cutting island trees to solve the problem. The problem that we have in Berlin, you have a shortage of water and those island trees, they draw a lot of water there. So that's why we have that project, to cut down those island trees. Another one is in Ngongwen. It is a community project. We support them with the seedlings and they plant. After they plant, they sell those mandu for the income. Today we visited the Monisa Matubeni home gardening project, which we started with 60 families that like to grow vegetables, but they lack tools, material to do their work. The area is very far from towns, so it is better for the communities to grow their own fresh vegetables garden. This is the private land. The owner left it to the community, then the community working together to start a, a small gardening. So we came and helped them with the food gardening, doing workshop here. And also we give them seedlings to plant and also on their houses. Everyone, they have a backyard garden and also they are supporting school with this gardening. And also they are harvesting and give other people on the community. And also they are selling some of this. We are engaged in programs like food security, community work programs and home-based care programs. We focus on producing food, vegetable growing, but focusing on organic farming method. We have two bee projects and two food gardening projects. This one was established in 2019, but in 2020 it was vandalized. Then we moved them from the old structure to the new place. We found the new place where it's nearer to their homes. They harvest the honey in March. They manage to make a profit of 2,500. Members of this community, they produce vegetables that are for the household consumption and even for selling because they sell the, the products from the garden, especially the potatoes. They, there was a great production of potatoes in this area. And with the money, they were able to buy for their children clothes and even send their children to school they were able to pay the accommodation for their children and tertiary education through this project. And even they supply the school, the nearby schools, they benefit from this project. And we hope this project can grow and grow so that the whole community can benefit. Oh, the economy are benefiting a lot because now they don't travel to town to buy a cabbage, veggies. They just go to Mr. Mkululi to get the veggies. Like now, they as now, we have cabbage. So they buy cabbage to Mr. Mkululi. There are some families are struggling, so they are giving them some veggies to have something to eat. And also, when they are going, they are going to produce at least some job. And the food security supports the community, supports the family, the members of the group and also the community at large. And the honey, they use it for more purposes. They use it for their livestock. They dry the wax and grind it for their livestock. They also smear it to the young ones. They normally have the ringworms in their heads. So they use honey, they smear the honey on them and they sell it to the communities. They sell uh, 500 meals with 60 rands. We want to continue and we wanted to extend and disseminate the information to the community about the importance of planting without using the fertilizer, using only crawl manual and all the available resources, not using the fertilizers. Mr. Zera gave us a training and he said that we must have a plan in our garden. We must not use chemical, we must use Landuga uh, Alu and put water there so that they were going to throw away those insects that were eating. He helped us with the, land of the compost down there. He said we must have our own compost, not buy another compost. I think that's a good idea that he gave us. And we learn a lot about that. <laughs>